This evening, a little after 9 p.m., Houston Police Department received a call for service regarding a shooting that just occurred in the 2200 block of Collier Street. Um, the information that we had was that there were multiple victims with gunshot wounds and that there were three suspects who fled the scene. Officers arrived, conducted a preliminary investigation. I can confirm that we do have a total of four juveniles who have been wounded, ages 10, 14, 15, and 16. Uh, three of them have been wounded in extremities, but one was wounded in the abdomen. Uh, so they have all been transported to an area hospital for treatment. Uh, the initial information that we have is that there were three suspects wearing masks, uh, possibly teenagers, um, you know, their identity obscured. We do have some leads that investigators are on scene working right now. Uh, these three suspects came, uh, came here to this residence. Uh, Family members were outside, saw them approaching, saw them with the guns, uh, attempted to go inside, and uh, they proceeded to the, to the door, were calling for people to come out, and uh, eventually the door was opened, and then uh, we believe two of the males, two of the suspects discharged pistols uh, into the house, and we ended up with a total of four wounded complainants, all juveniles. Uh, suspects fled on foot. I don't have a vehicle description. We do have investigators from the Major Assaults and Family Violence Division who are on scene, uh, both conducting follow-up investigations here as well as at the hospital, getting additional statements. Um, they do have leads that they're actively tracking, so at this time we're not prepared to release much else in that respect and to give them some space to work on those leads, uh, try to uh, get a good identity and uh, additional information, try to figure out what the background is. So apologies for the limited information, but that's where we are right now. It's a very active investigation, and we do have detectives on scene working through that. At this time, I'll take questions, and I'll see what I can answer. Was anyone else in the house besides the children? Yes, so we did have uh, other adult members of the family in the house, and it's gonna be a multi-generational residence. So we have uh, you know, children, parents, grandparents in the house. A family chance of, member said that it may have been a beef about a girl. If anybody heard anything about that? So um, I'm not going to get into the leads that we do have. Uh, so and at this time, I can't disclose that. Is there still a threat to the community nearby? Do you think, or this was like more? I mean, it 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 appears to it appears uh, preliminary preliminary preliminarily that uh, this was targeted, uh, not a random act, uh, not, um, we don't have concern of active ongoing violence with gunmen in the neighborhood at this time. Is there any surveillance video? That's part of the investigation. Detectives are, ch are checking with neighbors to see uh, if anybody has camera footage and some video that would be of assistance. Is there a vehicle description for the suspects or anything? Or? No, at this time we do not have a vehicle description for the suspects. It uh, looks like they initially fled on foot, and so we don't have one to tie to the scene right now.